I was just basically looking back in the scrimmage and, and what stood out to you once you had time to kind of look over the tape and, and look at what you saw from the defense. Well, we went in there as a goal. You know, we talked as a unit before we went out there about three T's, and the three T's were tackling, takeaways, and talking, which is really communication, but I put the T word in there to have three of them. So, uh, so that's what we kind of assessed. And uh, for the first time, you know, doing some live tackling, it wasn't bad. We, you know, we had some missed tackles, but um, our pursuit was pretty decent. So that covered up for a couple of missed tackles. Uh, takeaways, we got four takeaways, which was, which was an increase in something we haven't. Uh, it's got as many in practices in the different segment groups we do. And uh, communication and talking, we saw more of that. And uh, we can continue to build on that. And that, what that does, it keeps everybody involved, keeps everybody in, and, and uh, gives us some clues to what we can see and, and uh, helps us play faster. Was there anything that, uh, after watching tape, you look at some wow, that really caught your eye. Well, sometimes we pursue the ball. It, it, it gives you some moments you go wow, and we do it as eleven guys, and uh, we got to continue to build on that. And uh, when we do it, we're, we're pretty, we're a significant outfit when we do that, and uh, we got to do it on a consistent basis now. When you think about team speed on defense, what are you working with here compared to what you're used to having at your disposal back at K-State? Well, team speed is all, you know, you got to point it in the right direction now okay. and uh, take the shortest route to the ball carry and get there. But uh, we are, we are uh, getting a little more precise in our angles of pursuit. Consequently, our speed is showing up. And uh, so, yeah, I like what we have as a nucleus of team speed. We've got to get, get it all pointing in the right direction and being consistent in, in our effort all the time in pursuing. Chris, it ends, it, if I didn't know better, it almost seemed like you had the second ends with the first defense a fair amount and the first ends with the second defense in terms of guys like, we saw a lot of extra work from Giddens and Forte, if you will, even on the two defense. What do you think about the depth at that position? And what well, the depth, that's why you can roll those guys in there. I think there's some competition there. So, you know, you went in there and we, like Coach Holt said, there's, you know, everybody's vying for a spot. It's not ones, twos, and threes. And we're, we're working to see who can compete and challenge at those spots. So that's why everybody's you know, competing against ones and competing against twos, so you can see how people play against different competition. Now, I know that the quarterbacks were wearing a red jersey, so it wasn't completely live, but there's a lot of pressure from the front four, either sacks or tax for losses. Anything you comment on what you were seeing out of those guys? Yeah, I like that. I mean, there's, you know, anytime you can disrupt the quarterback with a four-man rush, it, 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 it helps you. You know, it helps you play in your zone coverages and things like that. So, um, you know, our, our our leverage fits on our rushes sometimes. You know, you have four guys and you don't want three on one side and one on the other. We gotta we gotta work on our leverage and get two by two and things like that with our rushes and fitting on the quarterback. But uh, I like the pressure we're able to affect the pocket. Have you seen a simulated game atmosphere now finally since you got the job? Who's really, really standing out and, and kind of exciting you out of out of all the guys first impressions like you've gotten? I'll probably have a better feel after this next scrimmage because that'll be more move the ball as opposed to just run any play sequences and see how people react that way. Uh, I, you know, obviously, you know, Jenkins had a pretty good day the other day getting his hands on some footballs, you know, either by interception or PBUs and uh, uh, did a nice job that way. He, sh he showed me something there that uh, he's got a really knack for the football. How like your linebacking core as a whole, I mean, these are guys that have some experience and they have a little bit of identity uh, to them already, what would you see from them in terms of the way they work together and the way they, they set the tone? Well, I, you know, some of the talking that I was talking about earlier came in that spot, and uh, I was, you know, really glad to hear and see it and uh, come from those guys, and because that's the, that's that's the group that's got to, you know, glue the whole thing together, the back end and the front end, and the communication that has to happen there has to come through those guys, and I was I was happy to see that. Now that's what the first, you know, the older group. Uh, our younger guys got to talk more. Right now, they're trying to learn to line up themselves and know where they fit and all that stuff. But I think in time, when you see a guy has confidence in learning the position and, and feeling comfortable, you'll see him speak more and talk more of clues and, and checks and things that they see. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.